Hello and welcome to NTC Reviews. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about cold wallets and specifically this new AT wallet that I picked up from Authentrend. A little bit about cold wallets. Uh, cold wallets, what's the difference between a cold wallet and let's say a hot wallet? Hot wallets are connected to the internet and like most things that are connected to the internet, it makes them vulnerable and subject to hacks and all you really have to do is do a simple Google search and you can see that even the big boys, those big exchanges, uh, every once in a while they get hacked. Now a cold wallet never connects to the internet and if you're a little bit familiar with uh, wallets and key phrase and seed, uh, seed phrases, you know that there's usually a 12 word or a 24 word phrase that are your password and those never leave the cold wallet if you opt for a cold wallet. Now that being said, let me get into some of the specifics on why I picked up this AT wallet. Many people opt for the hot wallet version because it makes things much more simple. They can just log in with their username and password just like they do for everything else and have access to their crypto wallets. Where when it comes to cold wallets, there are a few more steps in, involved. But for me, being able to uh, keep my coins and my funds safe is definitely worth that extra little bit of work. Now I do have multiple cold wallets and the reason for that is not every wallet works with the same coins. Some have more, some have less, certain ones only work with certain coins, so there's also that factor. So having multiple wallets sometimes is the way to go depending on the diversity of your crypto wallet or crypto portfolio. When I looked over the specs on the AT wallet, what I really did like about it was its form factor. It's super small. Uh, it's probably the size of two to three credit cards at the most stacked on top of each other. The other thing about this wallet is that it could connect via Bluetooth or USB, where a lot of my other wallets, it's one or the other. I started to travel again a lot more lately and many places, uh, even internationally overseas, are accepting crypto as payments. So instead of having my other wallets where I need to connect various adapters or uh, once again they're a bit bulkier so I do need to uh, carry them in a backpack or whatever, this little one fits right in my wallet and is good to go. So if I do need to use crypto as a payment it's extremely convenient to have this as opposed to other wallets with other accessories that I would need in order to power them up and get access to perform transactions, whether I am receiving crypto or if I'm paying for something or sending crypto. Another thing that I like about this AT wallet is that you can utilize your fingerprint in order to log into the device. So to me, that makes it more convenient and also another layer of security, as opposed to manually inputting a password that uh, sometimes you can mess that up, which I've done, unfortunately, one or two times. And on top of it, somebody could be behind you watching you type in your uh, password. And uh, if they get a hold of that wallet, there goes your funds. And as far as your seed words, you can choose either 12 or 24 words when you are setting up your wallet with this AT wallet. So that's also a uh, pretty cool feature. Those 12 or 24 words, and let's say they're your password, they also get stored on a EAL 5 Plus SE chip. So that's uh, pretty high end security and it never leaves that chip. Setting up the AT wallet was also relatively painless. It does work with uh, iOS, works with Android, which is what I used, works with Mac. So basically you have plenty of options depending on the device or devices that you wanna use with this AT wallet. So in the user manual, I went ahead and followed the directions, downloaded the app, and just followed the on-screen instructions from creating the wallet to setting up my fingerprints. And uh, as you go through the app and through each little section, it's telling you what to do and guiding you through the whole process. So if you are a little nervous or not really a techie, you'll be fine because all you got to do is pay attention, follow directions. And if you mess up, you just start all over again. The AT Wallet has a case which doubles as its charging station as well as protecting it. If you just choose to put it in there, throw it in your backpack, you don't have to worry about it, you have some protection. And on the actual little case itself, there's a micro USB port and you'll be able to hook that up with the accompanying cable and uh, charge up your AT wallet. And from what I see, this wallet is built pretty well. Not only does it have higher end, let's say, uh, chips in there for your security, 
but it's also waterproof. So one less worry, especially when you're on vacation. Another feature that I like about this AT wallet is that there's a standalone mode. So even if you don't have it hooked up to an app or hooked up to your computer, you can go ahead and just with that little screen, you'll be able to check the balances that you have in your wallet for the specific coins and assets that this card accepts. So briefly just speaking to you on how to set up this wallet. And once again, there are a lot of tutorials on the actual Authentrend website. And I will put a lot more specs and details because uh, things are always changing. Assets are being added, new tokens are being added, NFTs are being added almost on a weekly basis. So if you want more of that information, updated information, specs, be sure to check out my blog post. I will link it in the comments field below as well as in the description. So check it out. So a brief tutorial on just setting it up. There is a power button on the back. Be sure to charge up your wallet before you even get started. Doesn't take that long, comes with a pretty good charge. And there is a power button on the back. You press that down, it'll turn it on. You'll see the little blue lights blinking. And once you press it a couple more times, you'll see like a little cyan teal colored light come on. And that basically means it's in pairing or Bluetooth mode. And that's what you want it to be in so that you could go ahead and connect it to your device. Once your device finds the AT wallet, then you can go ahead and just follow the on-screen instructions to further configure and set up your AT wallet. It'll walk you through to setting up your fingerprints. And then from there, you'll actually create your wallet and choose whether you want 12 words or 24 words as far as your phrase or your, your uh, passcode. And from there, you're going to want to write them down. There's a couple spare sheets that come in the box with your AT wallet and be sure to write that down because you will need it for further configuration. And if you lose those 12 or 24 words, you will not have access to your wallet. Uh, with cold wallets, you really do become your own bank. And with that extra security also comes a lot more responsibility. So put write down those words, keep them in a safe place and never, never lose them. Because if you do lose them, that pretty much means you're gonna lose everything that you had in that wallet. So be smart, be cautious. Once your wallet is set up, you can go ahead and add your tokens. As I mentioned, the purpose for this AT wallet for me was for travel and the tokens or coins that I use the most when I do travel for transactions, whether I'm spending or receiving, is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I went ahead and loaded both of those just for the purpose of this demonstration and it was good to go relatively painless. Uh, keep in mind that I'm just setting up this wallet for a demonstration purposes. Once I'm done with the review, I'll go ahead and completely wipe that out. Within the AT wallet, you could also have multiple wallets, not just one, and each one will be assigned to different fingerprints. Once your wallet is set up, it works just like any other wallet. You'll have a QR code that you can go ahead and scan, whether you need to receive or send. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a cold wallet or an additional cold wallet, especially when it's sized perfectly for travel, definitely take a look at this AT wallet by Authentrend. The more that I use it, the more that I'm liking it.